Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another video with the Hawk Walker. In today's video, we're out on a new bit of a mission that we just picked up recently, and um, we've seen plenty of rabbits running about in the holes like good. Uh, today we've got Bo, Luca, and Willow, and um, it's a lovely, fresh, cold morning. So that means the hawks are a lot sharper because it was uh, freezing overnight. So let's get in here. So guys, here we've got Bolt on his uh, first kill of the day and it wasn't much of a flight because the farmer cares more about the pest control side of things since his farm's moving with them but um, yeah, I mean it's a catch a catch so go on <laughs> Unfortunate side to it. Sometimes the ferrets dig in and uh, trap the rabbit, and the rabbit can't escape or doesn't want to bolt it's for the hawks to chase. So we need to pinpoint it and dig it. And uh, sometimes you can see the ferret has a collar on, and uh, this is the ferret finder that we use to pinpoint it. So I've got it pinpointed here, and we're going to dig it. than I'd have hoped. to get through and uh, we've pinpointed the rabbit and we can now see it about two and a half foot down so you can kind of see the rabbit here and what you want to do is you want to search for his back back end and feel for his back end uh, but two back legs so you just want to try and find where his back end is so this is his back legs here And then you can see I've got his two back legs. And then what you want to just bring it out slowly. Make sure the ferret's, as you can see here, the ferret's got to hold it. So you want to try and get the ferret off. And watch out for any hawks trying to come in. Sometimes this can take a bit of... So anyway, you want to just dispatch it and put out any misery or suffering by just breaking its neck, which kills it instantly. And watch for any hawks. And watch for any hawks, thank you. So now 
that we've got the rabbit out, we want to reinstate the hole and make sure we've left it as if you'd never know there was a hole because you kind of owe the farmer that favour. And I know it's not Wimbledon, but you know, it's kind of a bit of respect. So you just kind of want to. Shove all this back in. As much as you can get. And then once you've done that, you want to keep this in good tact so you can just set it back on the top. And that'll be that. And this is the hole completely filled in now, so I think that's a pretty good job. Normally we like to dispatch the rabbit when we bring it out the hole a bit quicker than that. But um, because the ferret was on it, we didn't really want to, in case we didn't hurt the ferret or anything. But we don't really like the rabbits suffering or anything like that. But we've done it as quick as we could without hurting anything. But the, the ferret was kind of stuck on it and it wasn't wanting to let go. But normally we would dispatch it quicker and put it out its misery. Yeah, we've got the second rabbit that's been caught with the hawks, and um, although I'm pretty sure Bolt caught it, we've got Lucas sitting on it, and um, I'm going to give him a wee feed up as a wee reward so he doesn't get annoyed or agitated at them. just robbing it off him, so it keeps him happy. And then. Um, when the two male Harris hawks come down and hit the rabbit like that, it doesn't really stand a chance. And I mean, they're really, really fast off the fist. So I'll put him in your wing. Come on. Good lad. So yeah, we're going to give him a wee feed off this and um, catch you the next hole. got wee Sadie and uh, Sadie's just our newest ferret that we got this year and um, yeah she's had a, a bumpy bumpy ride to life so far but yeah she's pulled through and um, she's uh, proved, proven herself to be good because she's bolted quite a lot of rabbits for it only being her first few times out and you can see the the ferret collar on her neck and that's what we use the box with to transmit where they are when they're in the hole and they don't come back out so that means like you, you don't lose them pretty much if they go go down and sit on the rabbit you can uh, transmit and get them out as quick as you can to save the rabbit suffering and here we've got Winnie who appears to be sleeping and um, yeah she's just an absolute star she's a bit tired long day um, but yeah she's always proven proven herself to be the absolute best you couldn't really ask for any more out of the ferret. Every hole she goes into, she somehow manages to find the rabbits. So that's all you really want in a ferret. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, it was a, a great day out. There was lots of rabbits and great chases and 
the hawks are just bang on. I've got Bolt here. He's baiting about. Um, we've got Bolt here and um, he was bang on at one six and three quarters. And we've worked out that that seems to be his best flying weight. So yeah, he was giving his, his all, his recalls, his effort to chase the rabbits. You couldn't really ask for any more out of him. Luca as well, he was punting after the rabbits hard, managed to bag himself one. So yeah, that was uh, that was all good. And also we had Willow out, who's just coming back round into the ways of flying and starting to understand it again since she was out for so long. And um, also we had the ferrets, uh, Winnie and Sadie, that we've decided to call that. And um, yeah, they're just bolting rabbits on and on throughout. So yeah, it was a great, great day out. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. So thanks for tuning in and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.